Oh man, there you guys are. <laughs> Just getting uh, getting a whole bunch of stuff out of the truck here. Let me show you. Man, Ooh, it is bright. <sighs> Let me flip it around. It smells that fresh smell of rubber. Cause we got some new shoes for the Mustang. Check them out. They're like FR 500 kind of knockoffs. And uh, in the back we have 285, 45, 17s. Oh! In the front, 245, 40, 17s. So those are pretty rad. Uh, if you don't know what the Mustang is, I'll show you in a second. But more importantly, back there, we got the steel wheels for the Pacer with some new Uniroyal, Uniroyal? Tiger Paws? Yeah. Let's pull them out. And I'll show you the Mustang right now. So if you haven't seen this, I don't know if I've done like a video per se on this or not, but this was James's Mustang and now it's my Mustang, kind of. Katie keeps driving it and won't stop. So I don't know, whatever, it's our car. <laughs> and uh, I got these wheels and tires from Tim, my buddy, who you may have seen in the video with Dylan's wagon. He's a very cool guy. He hooked me up, uh, I'm really pumped about putting these wheels and tires on here. It's budgety. Uh, he was very reasonable on the price, and then I found those tires, the rear tires used, and then the new tires on the front were bought by Katie. So she's further grabbing hold of the Mustang. Uh, but this is a 5.0, five-speed car. It's also an HO, and it's also got porno red interior. Uh, I don't think it's open. This isn't really the main point of this video, but I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, James got it. It had gotten hit in the front slightly so you can see that the hood the fenders uh is it both fenders at least the hood that fender no it's just the one fender the front fascia and then uh he also the, the rad support was barely barely cinched in so it has a restored salvage but he fixed it all up he put these parts from a convertible on it and i love it like this we're gonna do the sn95 front brakes i got from dylan the wheels and tires from Tim, the cars from James. <laughs> it's just a hodgepodge of all my friends, but I love it so far. We did an H pipe to it uh, that came with the car. It sounds pretty cool. It's just a fun car. And it also helps me relive being 16 because this is the car that I wanted since forever. So no crazy plans of L swapping. Everyone thinks I'm gonna LS swap it. I'm not gonna LS swap it. Um, that was the original plan. And I was gonna put the 505 speed in Katie's Zephyr. But for now, I just like it too much. She likes it too much. They're great cars. I think it'd be really fun to do like an ultimate daily driver, which I think it is. It has a Bluetooth stereo, so it's really nice. You can talk on the phone, you can listen to music, has a nice stereo. Uh, obviously it's a five speed. It's got great cold AC, hot heater. We're gonna put the wheels and tires. I wanna do some suspension stuff to it for fun. And then I think doing like an on three turbo kit would just be, be primo. The car would be sick. So. Look for that in the future. We might do like an ultimate daily driver build. Quickly gonna add, thank you, Katie. If you noticed right there, the car looked really clean. So she was cleaned yesterday. Her name's Molly, Molly the Mustang. The other ad to that is, uh, I'm gonna put up a video. I'm gonna do a whole video on the five lug swap with the parts that I'm using. Probably been done a million times, but you guys are my people and we're gonna show you it. And I'm, I'm actually really pumped about that. And probably within the next week or so. That's gonna happen pretty quick because now we have these. These mamma jammas. Don't look at this. They're thick. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we got some big dogs on the back. For now. Let's throw these guys on. Gotta paint it up nice. Gotta paint it up nice. Also found these. These are black steel valve chem valve blah, blah, valve stem caps. And they're pretty nice. I got a set of four for $11 on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link below, but I always paint all my wheels black. And I hate that the valve stems are usually chrome or something weird. So that's the way to go right there. It just looks 10 times better. All right, pacemaker, let's throw your front wheels back on. So there's a little bit of, there's a thing we need to talk about, okay? Now, this pacer and I, we've had a pretty good run pretty good relationship and I think it's time for us to split ways 
Now, I'm pretty terrible at selling cars or projects that I've worked on because pretty much everything I've ever done or touched, I've kept. The only things I've sold are vehicles that I didn't touch and I was okay with selling somewhat. Now I know a few of you, maybe even most of you, I don't know, came here and wanted to see more of the Pacer. And I understand that. So, what I have for you is the best of both worlds. See, the Pacer isn't getting sold to somebody random. It's getting sold to a good friend of mine, a longtime friend. And he's gonna do stuff to it. And he's probably gonna do stuff differently than I would. That's okay. But it'll live on, and we'll probably be able to still see it here on the channel. And I may even be working on it. The thing that I really wanted to explain though is honestly like everything I've done to this car, everything that's happened has been far exceeding of all my goals. So the only goal I really had when I got it was to go to LS Fest, to make a video every day, to build the car as fast as I could, and to have fun. Well, I got way more on my you know return on my investment than I ever anticipated. We got the car done. It actually lived, it actually worked. It wasn't the fastest LS swap in the world and I'm okay with that. It went pretty good, it stayed alive, it did the burnout contest. I got to meet so many cool people that I still get to keep in touch with today. Uh, you know, it got featured, it got put into car craft, it was in different people's videos and honestly, I couldn't ask for more. Katie and I had fun, like, you know, those days that I had at LS Fest with this car, were the pinnacle of our relationship. So that's why I have to move on. And that's why I think I should move on as well as someone wants it. You know, someone wants to continue on with what it is or, you know, the idea of it at least. And heck, why not? You know, this guy, even this buddy of mine, he's the guy who introduced me to Parrish Turbo Truck when I was a kid, who gave me a ride in a Grand National for the first time. I got that was the first time I ever felt boost. You know, so in that light, it's very cool. Um, and also it frees me up for other projects, to be honest. There's other things, other dreams, aspirations, things I want to do, more things I want to do with this channel, with you guys, and you know, that's okay. And thank you to this car, thank you to you guys for all your support while I was building it, for checking it out, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. And right now what I'm doing is basically getting it ready to go. I bought a new turbo from Michael Page, Hangman Performance, who is Definitely becoming one of my good friends. Thanks, brother. And I'm really, really pumped on, I would say we are already good friends, but we just talk a lot. And the hookup on the turbo was sweet. That thing should be here shortly. And we're gonna get a new turbo on this car because that one's just definitely old. <laughs> I think I already lost some seals out of it again, which is my fault because I was just banging the two-step like nobody's business. So I'm gonna keep that old turbo and then maybe we can throw it on something if I can rebuild it again. But get these front tires on get this fuel system figured out and get it ready. That way it's pretty nice, tip top, nice project car when my friend gets it. It's not just a pile of rubble. He can actually drive it and enjoy it.
love this car, but I'm excited for the future. Don't forget we have Charlotte the C10. If you haven't seen that thing yet, go ahead and check out this video right here introducing the truck. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe right there if you want to stick around, you want to hang out, you want to see some of these future projects. We got Molly the Mustang we talked about in the beginning, the ultimate daily driver build. We got, what else? We got my 72 Skylark, which, uh, you know, if you don't remember that car, if, you, if you're not an OG that's been around for a long time, go back in my playlist, check out the Buick is what I called it, or the Dirty B, like call it all kinds of things, but the Buick, that car is really rad and it's just sitting there, man, waiting for us to do something to it. There's many, many opportunities there. And of course, the last thing that we haven't even introduced yet at the shop, still waiting, waiting. Maybe in the next week or two, after we get this and the GTO gone, We'll put up a video and we'll show you guys what's at the shop. The secret build, that's not so secret, you probably already know what it is. It's gonna be a huge part of this channel, so I'm really excited for the future. Also, upload schedule, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. That's it for me. Today, I'm out. Peace.